The subsoil of the Phlegraean fields is traversed by an intricate network of channels through which volcanic gases, superheated vapors, and hydrothermal fluids circulate, keeping the system constantly active. This underground activity generates a unique phenomenon in the world. The ground literally breathes, rising and falling over the years as internal pressures vary. The porous and fractured rocks that compose the geological substrate allow hot gases to find pathways to the surface, creating the characteristic fumaroles that dot the entire region. Among the most monitored areas are the Solfatara Crater and the Pissirelli region, where fumarolic activity intensifies periodically, serving as natural thermometers of what happens in the depths. These surface manifestations are not mere aesthetic phenomena, but crucial indicators of changes in the underground magmatic system. The temperature, chemical composition, and pressure of emitted gases provide valuable information about the internal state of the caldera. The geological complexity of the Phlegraean fields makes this region a unique natural laboratory for volcanological studies, but also a constant source of concern for authorities and local residents. The coexistence between a dense population and an active volcanic system represents an unprecedented scientific and social challenge, requiring continuous monitoring and increasingly sophisticated risk mitigation strategies. The infrastructural challenges in the Phlegraean fields become evident when we observe the critical state of Via Antiniana, a vital road artery that runs directly over areas of intense fumarolic activity. This road has become a symbol of the problems faced by the region where asphalt regularly develops bubbles and cracks due to hot vapors emerging from the subsoil. The phenomenon is not merely cosmetic, it represents a real risk to user safety and a tangible indicator of underlying volcanic activity. Recently, local authorities initiated repair work on the road, but interventions have proven limited and temporary. The current process involves only scraping deteriorated asphalt and installing traffic control systems an approach that experts consider insufficient to deal with the fundamental nature of the problem. The issue goes far beyond the surface, involving the entire slope that borders the Solfatara area, where unstable terrain is constantly affected by hot vapors and pressurized underground fluids. Traditional engineering finds significant limitations when applied to active volcanic terrains. Circulating hot vapors create voids and subsidence in the soil, making any surface solution a temporary measure. Experts point out that deeper structural work would be necessary, possibly including robust retaining walls capable of adequately distributing loads and resisting constant thermal changes in the subsoil. The situation of Via Antiniana illustrates a broader problem faced by all infrastructure in the region. Buildings, public service networks, and transportation systems must constantly adapt to a changing environment, where the very ground beneath their feet can move inches or even feet over the years. This unique reality requires not only innovative engineering solutions, but also a fundamental rethinking of how to build and maintain infrastructure in volcanically active areas. The historical pattern of temporary repairs and palliative solutions has proven inadequate to face the persistent nature of infrastructural problems in the region. Experience accumulated over decades demonstrates that superficial approaches only postpone the inevitable return of problems, often with even greater intensity. This reality underlines the urgent need for long-term strategies that consider the dynamic nature of the volcanic environment. Current scientific monitoring of the Phlegraean fields reveals a picture of growing activity that demands constant attention. During the most recent week, seismic instruments recorded 135 seismic events, with the most intense tremor reaching magnitude 2.9 on the local magnitude scale. This seismic sequence represents a significant increase compared to historical patterns in the region signaling important changes in the underground volcanic system. Temperature measurements at the main fumaroles show alarming values, especially in the area known as Baca Grande, where thermometers recorded 338 degrees Fahrenheit, 170 degrees Celsius. This thermal increase does not occur in isolation, but accompanies a notable intensification in volcanic gas emission, a phenomenon technically called degassing. The growing pressure of the system manifests through the force with which vapors emerge from fractures, creating a visually impressive but scientifically concerning spectacle. The Pissiarelli region continues to demonstrate constant fumarolic activity, remaining as one of the points of greatest interest for researchers and monitoring teams. Gases emitted in this area provide crucial information about the chemical composition of underground fluids and temperatures in the depths of the caldera 
Each variation in color, density, or temperature of vapors can indicate significant changes in magmatic system behavior. Data collected by volcanological observatories confirm an upward trend in all monitored parameters, seismicity, temperature, pressure, and gas emission. This convergence of indicators suggests that the volcanic system is going through a reactivation phase, although still within limits considered normal for an active caldera. However, the scientific community maintains doubled vigilance as historical experience demonstrates that apparently gradual changes can precede more significant events. An intriguing aspect of recent data involved the magnitude revision of a specific earthquake, initially cataloged as 2.2 and subsequently reclassified to 2.9. This correction, although routine in the scientific process, raises important questions about precision and transparency in communicating seismic data to the public. In a region where each tremor is anxiously monitored by residents, clarity and precision of released information assume fundamental importance. The social and economic implications of growing volcanic activity in the Phlegraean fields extend far beyond purely scientific aspects, directly affecting the lives of hundreds of thousands of people who call this region home. Daily coexistence with volcanic uncertainty creates a unique atmosphere where residents develop a complex relationship with their surrounding environment simultaneously appreciating the unique natural beauty of the region and living with risks that cannot be completely eliminated. The local community has demonstrated remarkable capacity for organization and civic engagement, exemplified by the formation of the Phlegraean Fields Emergency Committee. This group, led by committed citizens, works tirelessly to ensure that crucial safety and emergency preparedness issues receive adequate attention from authorities. Their initiatives include advocating for adequate funding for emergency accommodations, creating support centers for displaced families, and strengthening evacuation routes. The need for a clear and widely communicated emergency plan becomes increasingly urgent as volcanic activity intensifies. Residents express growing concern about the apparent gap between the seriousness of identified scientific risks and practical preparation for emergency scenarios. This disconnect generates unnecessary anxiety and may compromise the effectiveness of future responses to critical situations. Independent monitoring work, carried out by citizens equipped with modern technology such as thermal drones, represents a valuable contribution to collective understanding of volcanic phenomena. These initiatives not only complement official monitoring, but also keep public attention focused on the importance of continuously following the evolution of the situation. Transparency and democratic access to scientific information strengthen the community's capacity to make informed decisions about their safety. If you're fascinated by these hidden forces of nature and wish to continue learning about volcanic and geological phenomena, subscribe to the channel and activate notifications to not miss upcoming content about the most extraordinary phenomena on the planet. Scientific understanding of these natural processes is fundamental for us to coexist more safely and consciously with the forces that shape our world.